Hello everybody, welcome to my channel, The Real Super Sam. Today is a new video and I hope you enjoy. I've always found Clock King to be a cool looking supervillain, but I haven't gotten around to reading about the guy, so today I decided to start at the very beginning with him. The Clock King first appeared in World's Finest Issue 111. It starts with Clock King in a costume at a costume party, and planning to use his obsession with timing to rob the place and make a clean getaway. But when Clock King escapes and flies through the air, Oliver Queen and Roy Harper sees this guy and chases him, but he uses the clock tower's moving figures when the clock strikes 12 to escape them by tricking Green Arrow by placing his costume on one of the figures. Then, in the days that follow, Clock King goes on his own genius crime spree. The thing is, every one of his crimes has to do with timing or clocks. Clock King decides to actually kill Green Arrow and Speedy, so he lures them to his lighter and traps them in a giant hourglass. One thing I see is this clock-themed hideout. He definitely feels like a 1966 Batman villain here, with the costume and layer all clock-themed. I know Clock King is in one story for the actual Batman show, but he is nothing like this. In fact, in the episode, if I remember, he's after art-themed pieces. For such a short story, only six pages, Clock King makes a mark. It is interesting to see this man so obsessed with timing, and even causes wrong timing to commit crimes by thinking ahead and assuming what people will do when time changes. Also, I really like his costume. I'm glad they gave him this costume for his appearance in the LEGO video game. A weird thing that happens is Clock King's strap, though. Clock King's strap is cool and all, but Green Arrow and Speedy just literally climb out of it in the next panel. What a fun adventure, and I'm glad Clocking returned a lot in DC. Thank you all for watching, and have a great day.